Welcome back to the channel, and today I have a treat for ya. Today's video is all about a game that is quite possibly a hidden gem on the eShop. Best of all too, it's on sale. Yes, today I'll be taking a look at Shin-chan, me and the professor on summer vacation, the endless seven day journey, a game that has a super long name, but that's just to emphasize how awesome this game really is. <laughs> So before we dive in, I was given a review code for this game by the publisher, but as always, opinions are my own. Speaking of which, I didn't even know this game existed until less than two weeks ago when the publisher reached out to me for the very first time. I mean, I knew this game was in development and was released in Japan, but never knew this game actually got a proper North American release this past summer. I always thought it was a long shot for it to come over here, but hey, this is a great surprise. So this game is best described as two franchises combining into one. It features gameplay similar or reminiscent of the Boku no Nachu Yasuyumi or My Summer Vacation series that originally got started on the PlayStation, combined with the comedic antics of Shin-chan and his family. The My Summer Vacation series are games that typically have you playing as a kid, living out a summer vacation, playing, catching bugs, exploring, and even relaxing. The story of the game begins off with Shinosuke's father, Hiroshi, going on a week-long business trip in which the rest of the family travels with him to vacation at the home of his mother's childhood friend, Inaso Kumamoto. Upon arriving to the station, before leaving on their trip, the family is approached by Dr. Akuno, who is apparently a mad scientist who gives Shin a camera that produces illustrations instead of photographs. After a few days vacationing, the family bumps back into the mad scientists, and things start going a bit crazy in typical Shin-chan fashion. Their core gameplay consists of each day in-game, exploring and adventuring, collecting bugs, fish, and items, while discovering things around him, and logging it into his journal via the magic camera. It's a very laid-back game. It's very open-ended in what you can do each day. Eventually though, each day will end, and you'll be able to explore a bit more at night, and then it'll proceed to the next day. I really appreciate the fact that there's really no time limit to push the player. You can do what you want, and explore the environment, and discover things like a 5-year-old child, albeit in this case, Shin-chan, but still. That aside, there is an overarching story you'll discover with the aforementioned professor and the events that surround him. Again, the game is about exploration and discovering things, and there's lots of things to find out and do each day, like interacting with the many characters, watering and growing crops, fishing, catching bugs, battling in a game of dinosaur bots, completing missions and deliveries, and experiencing this summer vacation of Shin-chan. This game is very much in the same vein as games like Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon, and Animal Crossing in the sense that they are pretty cozy and chill. And if you like games like that, then this is a good game to pick up, even if you know nothing about the franchise. That said, what's really neat about the game though, is it really captures the feeling of being in an anime or episode of the show. First of all, the game is gorgeous. From the backgrounds, to the environments, to the cell shaded design of the characters, it most certainly looks the part, and it is beautiful. This combined with the gameplay setting and style and the interactions that happen between the characters as you play, and yeah, it feels exactly like I'm in a shell. And that, I feel, is the game's biggest strength. As far as any flaws go, there's only a few minor nitpicks that I had with the game while playing. One is that when you play each day, the only way to save is through saving at the end of each day. There is an autosave, but I would say keep in mind that for each day in game, make sure to have about 20 to 40 minutes free to play so you can reach a save point. Beyond that, when doing stuff like per se trying to catch bugs, it can be a bit confusing to see where you are in position to your character while swinging the net. It isn't the biggest deal breaker, you can keep swinging the net to catch the bug and move on, it's fine, but I just wanted to make a note of that. Finally, sometimes your character can appear really small on screen in certain spots while traversing, and it can be really hard to determine where they are, especially in handheld mode. That aside, the game has been really enjoyable. 
So back to the topic of if this game is for you. Like I said before, if you're a Shin-chan fan and want to feel like you're in an anime, then this game is most certainly a must-get, without a doubt. If you're into cozy or chill games and like what you see, I think this could be a definite pickup as well, even if you know nothing about Shin-chan. If you're not a fan of this gameplay style, being open-ended and such, then it is possible it isn't for you, and that's okay, I do realize that this game is most certainly not for everyone, it is a bit niche, but if you like this stuff, oh it is most certainly a lot of fun, and it's definitely a hidden gem on the eShop. Again, it's on sale for $29.99 on the eShop until December 15th, so keep that in mind if you want to pick it up. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe. I got a few more game reviews coming your way, as well as many other videos. But for now, that's all I have for today. So thank you so much for watching, thank you for subscribing, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.